Hello everyone, my name is Gabrielle Tron and I'm an intern for Oilfield Basics. Today's video blog is going to be about why I chose petroleum engineering. Just coming from a young person's background who's about to graduate college, I have with me today one of my really good friends, Adele Muna. She previously just graduated from Texas A&M with her petroleum engineering degree, has a lot of great experience, so I'm really excited for her to join this video blog today and share with you guys some of her advice and experience. So Adele, do you wanna go ahead and introduce yourself? Hi Gabby, thank you so much for having me today. I was super excited when you asked me to do this. And so yeah, I actually just graduated from Texas A&M in May with a degree in petroleum engineering. And so prior to that, I've had two internships and then just accepted a full-time offer with ExxonMobil to start in a couple of months. So I'm really looking forward to that. Great. So because me and you are both in the same boat where we have to start our careers very soon and most people our age don't really know much about petroleum engineering or quite frankly want to go into petroleum engineering. So I'm curious, why did you want to study petroleum engineering? All right. So me, it's a little bit of a different story, but I actually grew up with an oil and gas family where we would move to a different country all the time. And that's because my dad worked in the energy industry. So from a young age, I was exposed to what energy was and how important it is to the quality of life for millions of people across the globe. And so that really made me look into working in the industry myself. And then once I figured out that I really liked math and science in high school, I thought engineering would be a perfect fit for me. Beyond that, the energy industry, as we all know, is extremely international, and I love working on diverse teams and working on large-scale projects. Um, so petroleum was actually a really good fit for me. And I'd say the last reason I decided to do petroleum is because I'm actually really passionate about the environment. Um, and so I think there's a really unique opportunity for young engineers to go into the energy industry and come up with initiatives to help lower carbon emissions and increase sustainability of current operators that are out there today. I think that's a really good point, Adele, about the environment. I think the energy industry and specifically petroleum has a bad reputation of not being for the environment. And I think as petroleum engineers, you and I both know that that's not the case and that a lot of companies are really trying to have a better um, environmental footprint. And so I think that that's important to know for the younger generations that the industry is going in a better direction, really trying to help out and be better at sustainability. I know for me personally, I just thought it was really interesting that as a petroleum engineer, we are able to locate hydrocarbons from extremely deep depths and then be able to extract them and then eventually help people live their comfortable everyday lives by turning those hydrocarbons into everyday products. So it was really interesting for me to see that things that we use every day are petroleum products and that as petroleum engineers, we are able to be a part of that bigger picture. So the next question I want to talk about is, as women, both of us have seen in and out of the classroom that there aren't many of us, especially in our labs or even group projects. How have you managed to succeed despite this? So you are completely correct in saying that. So actually, in my experience at Texas A&M University and then also in my internships, I worked in the field one summer and then also in a corporate office. I would say it ranges anywhere from 15 to 30 percent um, of women in in those environments, and so we all the, we are the smaller minority. However, I grew up with a really strong support system from a young age. Um, having that early exposure to engineering and what energy was, I saw it as something attainable um, for me at a very young age. Even though I didn't see a lot of people older than me um, and in the energy industry. Just being exposed to it gave me the inspiration to have the courage to pursue it for myself. And so once I was in college or university, there's actually a ton of resources out there to help women in engineering. Um, I would say women in engineering form a really tight knit group of, um, kind of feels like a family, honestly, because we're all in the same boat together. We all share stories and advice with each other as we're all facing similar challenges throughout our careers. And so I would not say being a woman in engineering is a negative thing. It comes with some challenges, but as of today, through all the things I've experienced, I actually see it as a really good opportunity to serve as a role model and a mentor to girls who are younger than us, who are also considering going into a male-dominated industry like the energy industry. 
Yeah, I think that those are really good points. I know personally, when I knew that petroleum engineering was a very male dominated field, it made me want to go into it even more because I thought, well, why is that the case? Like we need to change that. Most more of us need to go into it. And so it definitely pushed me more to want to pursue it so that when a younger person sees me doing it, they're like, well, if she can do it, I can do it. And so kind of have to lead by example. But I completely agree with you that our support system is really great and that people are cheering us on and they want us to be there. Even though it feels like there aren't many of us, we do have people in our corner. I know when I interned in the field uh, two summers ago, I was the only female in the field office and I was always supported by all of the guys around me. Everyone was always there to help me with anything that I needed and I never felt like people were against me in any way or form. And so I think that it may seem daunting to us because there aren't many of us, but the industry and people around us are always continually looking out for us. So we are really thankful for that. So lastly, what advice do you have for anyone entering petroleum engineering? Maybe if they're in high school, considering them studying it, or even current petroleum engineering students who will eventually work in this industry? So I would say definitely my biggest piece of advice right now, which addresses the elephant in the room, is that we all acknowledge we are in a downturn right now and that the public has a perception of oil and gas that is definitely not positive. The general majority of people think that oil and gas is going to slowly phase out over the next few years, which is simply not true. Once you do um, further research into what the energy industry is and how hydrocarbons as a source of energy can actually partner with other renewable energy sources, you then realize that it's not a matter of picking and choosing one source of energy, but that we actually need new young engineers to step into this challenge. We need engineers to figure out how to get all of these sources of energy to partner together in order to provide energy to our world in the most sustainable way possible. And so it makes me super proud to be a petroleum engineer who is working upon that initiative myself. And then second piece of advice would be when you have an internship as a petroleum engineer or as any engineer in general, honestly, um, it's important to remember that internships don't only serve for the purpose of the company to interview, interview and evaluate you. They are amazing opportunities for you as the intern to figure out what kind of company you want to work for, what culture best fits you, and then also determine what role you'd like to do in the energy industry. Through my two internships, it gave me a lot of clarity into what job I saw myself doing in the future. And so it's really important to take those internships and do a full evaluation of what job you think will make you happy in the long run. Yeah, I think that that's a really good, great point that internships are just as much an interview for you as they are for the company. And so it is important to figure out, is this the type of culture you like? And is this the type of work that you like to do? And so I'm really glad that you mentioned that point. I think another point that I would mention is always to continue to learn. If you're in a state where you feel like, well, I can't get an internship right now because there is a downturn currently, continue to learn and explore all the different options that are within the industry. So oil field basics, for example, has a ton of courses that you can take podcasts. You can listen to just to always continue to develop your skills and learn new things just as the industry keeps evolving and just staying on top of everything, I think would be my biggest advice. So that's really the end of our video blog. If you guys have any more comments or concerns, please go ahead and check out oil field basics and all the other video blogs that we have posted. Thank you so much, Adele, for being with me here today. Your insight was great, as always. I really appreciate your time being here. Thank you so much, Gabby. It's been a pleasure.